Well, I mean, it's certainly related. And I, I've had permission now over the last few years to utilize psilocybin, which is the active alkaloid in hallucinogenic mushrooms, in the treatment of patients with advanced stage cancer who have anxiety. It's, we're treating the anxiety, not the cancer. Now, you know, psilocybin is 4-phosphoroxy-NN-dimethyltryptamate, so obviously, from a chemical structure point of view, you know, very similar to DMT. Um, the psilocybin experience itself is a six-hour experience, slightly longer than ayahuasca. It's also a, uh, a visionary experience, and uh, thus far, we're, we're, you know, observing very positive effects in regards to uh, the, the nature of experience during the session, and then subsequent uh, effects on mood regulation and anxiety control, uh, pain perception, uh, need for narcotic pain medication, and overall quality of life for cancer patients. We've seen, uh, by and large, our subjects do uh, quite well in the time they have remaining. I might also point out that work with uh, uh, terminal cancer patients in the 60s and early 70s, particularly the, uh, the group at the Maryland State Psychiatric Research Center at Spring Grove, led by Stan Groff and uh, Walter Pankey, was, you know, provided some of the most, uh, you know, exciting studies to come out of that era of research. And uh, really, it, it's a patient population for whom modern medicine still struggles to attend to. You know, granted, you know, medical treatments have improved. Individuals are living for longer periods of time, so we have their quantity of survival has increased, but the quality of their day-to-day uh, -day experience uh, is often uh, still plagued with significant degrees of depression, of anxiety, and, uh, and, and, and really limitation. And uh, if you review the record from the 60s, you find that there were some very, very... Uh, uh, powerful therapeutic uh, impacts upon many of their many of their subjects. I, I would say, work with cancer patients with anxiety and depression in the '60s was probably, along with the treatment of alcoholics, the most carefully documented and uh, and strongest area that showing psychedelics uh, potential treatment efficacy.